Hi everyone, welcome to the Pinay Boss Mom by One. Here are some of the important and basic tools that you need to learn when you want to be a virtual assistant, lalo na kung wala ka pang experience as a virtual assistant. Ang pinakaunang kailangan mo matutunan is your Gmail or Google Mail. If meron ka ng Yahoo or ibang email like Hotmail, yung mga ganyan, tanggalin mo na yon. use it for your personal stuff. But if you want to be a professional virtual assistant, you have to create your own Gmail. Kung meron ka ng Gmail mo, you have to make sure na maganda yung pangalan ng email address mo. Kailangan it should be your um, first name and last name. So katulad nito, uh, makikita nyo dito, mia.mf1 at gmail.com. Uh, yan yung personal email address ko. So kailangan ganyan din yung email address nyo. Hindi yan pwedeng kung ano-anong klaseng iba't-ibang terms or iba't-ibang favorite characters ninyo. It should be professional and it should be your name. That's the first thing that you need to have as a virtual assistant. Now that you already have your email, you need to create your signature. So ang signature natin is like this. Yeah. So, you have here just very simple. You can have Mia, your name, your numbers, your landline, your email address. You can also have a link to your website or you can also put your position, virtual assistant, yung ganyan. So, you need to have a signature. We will have a separate tutorial on how to use the features dito sa Gmail. So right now, I'm just showing you the basics of what you need to have as a virtual assistant. Now that you already have your professional email address and your professional signature, the next thing you need to learn is how to properly reply and create emails. You also need to learn how to attach CCs and BCCs. I will have again another tutorial on how to create professional emails, replying and creating. Now, just to give you a background naman about yung BCC and CC. Ang CC po, ibig sabihin niyan is carbon copy. Ang BCC naman is blind carbon copy. To know more about that, you can definitely research on that or you can wait for my tutorial. In the next few weeks, yun, I'll also post it here on YouTube. What you also need to learn are the features na nandito sa baba. Itong, itong mga to yan. Very important yan. Yung attaching files, creating or inserting hyperlinks, and emojis natin you can insert anytime. And then you should also learn how to insert files using your Google Drive. You can also insert photos as an inline or as an attachment. Uh, pag-aralan niyo yung inline or attachment. Uh, I will show you on my next YouTube video kung paano gawin yun. Yung sa tutorial ng Gmails. And then you can also turn confidential mode on and off. And then you can also insert signature. And then lahat ito, pwede nyo rin matutunan. And then you also have all of others here like templates, labels, plain text mode, etc. So all of these features you need to find out. We also have here yung schedule send. Um, this is also one feature of the Google Mail that you need to learn. And ituturo ko rin naman yan sa tutorial if you want to wait for the tutorial. But you can definitely find all of these features dito sa YouTube from other content creators. Next tool naman is yung Google Calendar. Now, the Google Calendar, maraming, 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 maraming siyang features. Makikita nyo pa lang sa settings niya na sobrang dami, dami niyang features. So, all of these, you have to find out kung paano siya gamitin. But let me teach you the features that you need to learn as a virtual assistant. The first one is creating an event. And then just click mga other features when creating an event. You have to learn how to add or invite guests. You also need to find out how to change time zones, especially kapag ang client mo is nasa ibang bansa. You also need to learn the features yung dito, adding attachments, ito naman for editing lang your fonts, 
inserting links, etc. You have to find out how to create that para when you create meeting events on your client's calendar and you need to insert um, attachments, you know how to do it. One of the features also of the event calendar is you can add Google Meet video conferencing link or even Zoom links. Hindi ko palang na add yung Zoom links dito sa personal um, calendar ko, but I have it on my work or Athena calendar. Other important features that you need to find out or you need to learn if you want to be a successful virtual assistant is adding time zones. So those are the basics for Google Calendar. Now let's move on to Google Drive. Now so Google Drive, you will already have here your Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, and more. Itong mga more na to actually hindi ko pa to alam. And then you can also add more apps. So hindi ko alam, hindi ko pa alam tong mga to. Dito lang ako talagang familiar. Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Forms. Ang pinaka-importante dito sa kanilang lahat is, of course, your Google Sheet. Ang Google Sheet natin is like an Excel file. If sanay kayo sa Microsoft um, Excel. So, it's just exactly like that except it's under Google. All of the features are the same. You can also have mga formulas na ganyan. Lahat ng mga tabs niya dito is the same also. So, kung sanay na kayo sa Excel file, hindi na kayo mahihirapan sa Google Sheets. So, kailangan nyo lang pag-aralan yung mga features niya if hindi pa kayo ganun ka-familiar. Google Docs naman is just like your Microsoft Word. Ganun lang din yung feature niya. Google Slides naman is just like your PowerPoint. So, it's just the same features also. Your Google Forms naman is a little bit more complicated. So, pwede kang gumawa ng mga answer forms. Dito, answer sheets, yung mga ganyan. You can play with this feature and learn more about it. And it will help you with being a successful virtual assistant. The next tool that you need to learn is Google Maps. So, this is actually an advanced tool already na kailangan mo matutunan. It's not really one of the basic tools like yung Google Sheets, Calendar. So this is a bit advanced. I will talk about this more in an upcoming YouTube video tutorial that I'm also creating like this one. But you can search here on YouTube yung mga basic features ng Google Maps and I will just discuss dun sa aking tutorial yung mga ginagamit natin na features as a virtual assistant. The following tools are project management tools that you need to familiarize also. This is very important kasi madaming clients na ito yung mga ginagamit nila sa business nila or sa company nila. So it's three project management tools. The first one or ang pinakasikat natin is yung Asana. I was able to use this for a very very short time but hindi ko na siya masyadong ginamit kasi my client and I are using a different and I think better project management tool but Asana is being used by a lot of businesses and a lot of clients so it's very important that you familiarize yourself with the features of Asana. I'm just not sure if there is a free version of Asana that you can play around with online but you can definitely watch tutorial on this dito sa um, YouTube. Madaming content creators also na nagtuturo ng basic features of Asana. If ever merong free version ng Asana that I can play with, I can definitely make a tutorial tutorial as well. Another project management tool that most clients are using is Trello. I know there is a free version of Trello that you can use at pwede nyong paglaruan para lang matutunan nyo yung mga features niya. This is very nice also, very user-friendly compared to Asana, so mas madali siyang matutunan. Search here at YouTube yung mga ibang content creators that are teaching how to use Trello. This is very nice also. You can also use this for your personal parang journal or personal life management tool. And lastly, this is my favorite. This is what I use every day with my client and even for my personal stuff. And that's Notion. This is a very user-friendly drag and drop lang siya, copy-paste lang siya. And there are a lot of templates that are already available for you to use. Hindi ka na mahihirapang gumawa ng mga sarili mong templates. Copy-paste ka na lang sa kanila. Parang pre-populated templates na siya that you can use. 
sobrang daming nagagawa dito sa Notion. As in, matutuwa kayo dito kasi pwedeng maging journal, pwedeng maging notes, may calendar siya. Lahat ng mga goals mo in life, pwede mo ding ilagay dito and you can keep track of their, those goals. Ito for sure, I will have a tutorial for this one on how I use it as a virtual assistant and also for my personal use. There is a free version of this. You can use all of the features ng libre. So, pwede nyo nang paglaroan to in advance. Tapos ma, kikita nyo na kung gano'ng ka-powerful ang Notion when it comes to project management. Other tools that you need to learn or familiarize yourself with are video conferencing tools and messaging tools. So, sa video conferencing, meron lang tayong dalawa. You have here yung Google Meet. It's straight to the point naman. You just create meetings, ganyan, create it here. Um, you can create a meeting for later or schedule a meeting for later. There are a lot of other features also that you can use and you need to familiarize yourself with sa Google Meet once you already have a meeting. And another one is yung pinaka sikat talaga sa lahat is yung Zoom. Now, ang maganda lang sa Zoom, especially now in the middle of the pandemic, and dami na niyang mga apps and features na available. So, hindi lang siya for meeting itself. You can also use it to host events and to, to do presentations. So, Zoom is very powerful compared to Google Meet. I will have a separate tutorial for both Zoom and Google Meet in the next coming weeks. Moving on to our messaging apps, the first one and the most famous one is WhatsApp. Now, our clients, especially the CEOs now in the US, are very particular with the safety and encryption of uh, encryption features of messaging apps. Another one is Telegram. Very safe also, and all messages are encrypted. Marami ring features here sa Telegram that you can familiarize yourself with. And another one that is nakikilala sa market ngayon is Discord. So this one also, actually, I haven't used. Pero marami na ring clients that are pushing to use Discord because of its encryption and features. But ako, mas sanay ako, WhatsApp and Telegram. But soon enough, I need to familiarize myself with Discord para just in case my client wants to move to Discord messaging, hindi na ako mahihirapan maglipat from WhatsApp to Discord. So those are the videos and messaging apps. Last but definitely not the least, these are a set of Google Chrome extensions that you need to use if you want to be a successful virtual assistant or if you want to start a career as a virtual assistant. But before you are able to use these Google Chrome extensions, kailangan ang iyong browser is Google Chrome. Wag kang gagamit ng ibang browser except Google Chrome lang. So these are the extensions that you need to use. The first one is Winscribe VPN. This is a free VPN that you can use to access websites in other countries. Kasi without VPN, merong mga ibang websites na hindi mo maa-access if ang IP address mo is a Philippine IP address. Merong mga paid states sa US or paid locations, but there are also free locations that you can use that you don't have to pay. That's why it's for free. So that's what VPN is very powerful that you have to use it. Another Google Chrome extension that you need is Grammarly. So this one naman is to help you with your emails. Just to be able to make sure na tama yung mga grammar and spelling ninyo. Next up is LastPass. So this is password management from anywhere. This LastPass is for your client to safely share with you yung mga logins nila. Um, so you have to familiarize yourself with the feature. You can also use this for personal use. Kapag makakalimutin ka ng mga passwords mo, pwede mong gamitin yan dito. But I highly suggest that you only use the web browser na feature and not the app. Okay, kasi you can only use one um, access sa LastPass. It's either sa web browser or sa phone. So mas okay na sa web browser so you can use it as a Google Chrome extension. 
The next one is Loom. So, ang Loom is screen recording siya. So, if there are things that you need to discuss to your, for your client na kailangan may screen recording, then you can definitely use Loom. Kasi you can screen record and then ito, makikita mo yung sarili mo na record din niya. And last but not the least, the Google Chrome extension that I also like is Go Full Page. So, ang ibig sabihin lang nito is screenshot niya yung buong page. Kasi diba pa tayo pag nagsiscreenshot, ayan, ito lang yung makikita kung ano nakikita natin ngayon. Pero hindi niya makukuha lahat nung nasa baba. So, if you need the whole page na nakaisang page lang siya, hindi siya magiging multiple file, then, then you just have to use Go Full Page. So, those are all the tools that you need to use to be a successful virtual assistant. Let's just go through it again one by one. So, you have your... Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive, and the documents under Google Drive. You have your advanced tools, which is your Google Maps, project management tools, Asana, Trello, Notion, video conferencing tools, Google Meet, and Zoom. You have your messaging tools, WhatsApp, Telegram, and Discord, and your Google Chrome extensions, Winscribe, Grammarly, LastPass, Loom, and Go Full Page. So those are the tools that you need to equip yourself with and you need to learn for you to become a successful virtual assistant, especially kung nagsisimula ka pa lang. Most of the basic tools na diniscuss ko dito sa video na to are all free online. The paid tools na na discuss ko dito are those advanced tools that, that you can invest in once you already have a client. So I hope marami kayong natutunan sa aking first YouTube vlog. Um, if you'd like to apply naman, we do have an opening kung saan po ako natatrabaho. I am working at Athena Executive Assistant. We do have a lot of openings for virtual executive assistant posts. I will post the link in the description down below for the application form and yung website na ginawa ko for the tips on how to apply at Athena Executive Assistant. So, tuloy-tuloy lang po ang hiring namin. There are a lot of benefits na makukuha at Athena Executive Assistant. Ano bang requirement kapag gusto mong mag-apply as a virtual executive assistant at Athena? All you need to do is you need to be 18 years old and above. Kahit wala kang working experience, if you're a fresh grad or undergrad na walang work experience, you can definitely apply. You must also be willing to work the graveyard shift. Kadalasan nagsisimula ang graveyard shift ng 9pm or 11pm onward. You should also be willing to work full-time. Wala po tayong part-time dito sa Athena. Full-time lang na 160 hours a month or 40 hours a week. So basically, 8 hours a day din yun. You should be residing here sa Philippines. Hindi pa po tayo tumatanggap ng mga Filipinos outside the country. You should also have your own PC or laptop na merong required specs. And I will link the specs ng PC or laptop na required in the subscription down below. What's in it for you naman if you become a virtual assistant or a successful hire at Athena Executive Assistant? Meron kang health card on your 6th month plus one dependent for free on your first year. We also have the pet support program wherein you can reimburse ang mga vet expenses ng inyong mga alaga. You will also be provided with a new MacBook Air once you get partnered or once you get matched with a client. And we also have our yearly general assembly that happens out of town, which is all expense paid ng Athena. And of course, magkano ang kikitain mo? You will earn as much as 35 to 45,000 pesos a month net na yon. Buong buo nyo pong makukuha just by working 160 hours a month of full time work from home and fixed Saturday and Sunday off pa. So, sang ka pa, join us here at Athena Executive Assistant and start your career as a virtual executive assistant. Again, this is MJ and thank you so much for watching my first ever vlog. I hope this is going to be a successful um, first vlog. So please subscribe to my channel and I will link all my social media handles at the description down below. But most of my tips and content about being a virtual assistant is mostly in my TikTok and next week also for my upcoming vlogs. Thank you!
Bye.